there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's weekend whip video, I'm going to be working on a page from Summer Nights. This is a really old whip. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my tea and we'll get started. Okay, so the page uh, is this one. So this is one that I did a background on a long time ago. I don't love <laughs> The background it's okay and once I get all of the other stuff colored it'll be it'll be fine it'll fade into the background like it's supposed to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and color it I want to get um, some pages done I haven't been um, able to color in anything other than mermaids for the whole month so today we are venturing out I'm going to try to focus on some of my hardback books uh, this month I don't really have like a, a color along or a set plan in place, just hardback books. So um, not all of them will be in there, but a lot of them, I think. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to work on the, let's work on these big flowers first. Um, and I think I'm going to start with a marker base. So let me grab my markers. All right, so I have my Zig Brushables pen. I think I'm just gonna go for the really super light pink, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna do the light pink and then I can add shading and stuff um, after the fact. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get that started and then we'll chat for a little bit. Uh, so hi, everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. I um, had a real busy week. <laughs> So I unfortunately was not able to finish the video that I had talked about last week. Um, but it's much closer to being done. Uh, I just have to, f I have to finish the page now. That's what's um, causing the holdup. Um, I have like all of the basics kind of recorded about how to do the watercolors on the Amazon paper and then I just have to finish to get the page finished so there's a little bit extra that I got to do and then I should be able to get that out to you guys I don't know why it, it took I mean it just took a really long time for this one and it shouldn't have I just there were days where I just didn't I couldn't make myself come down and record or you know I didn't want to work on the page or you know, all kinds of different things. And so I'm just like, mm, well, it'll have to wait. And plus on top of that, you know, I, like I said, I was, I was busy. We had uh, last day of school was this week. So we had lots of things leading up to that. I had to help out with some, um, eighth grade graduation stuff for the class ahead of my youngest. Um, and so yeah, it was just just stuff to do all week. But now it is June and school is out and I have no definitive plans <laughs> currently, which I don't hate right now. I'm kind of liking the the no plans. Um you just need a break every once in a while, you know, just just chill out and do nothing. So that is what we're gonna do for a little while. And then hopefully at some point this summer, we will be going on another little vacation, just like a little road trip somewhere. My youngest has expressed an interest in possibly going to the mountains. So we might end up like in uh, Tennessee somewhere. I am not sure what exactly we're doing. She, you know, we had, talked about maybe going to the Smoky Mountains National Park but it's so it gets so busy there and um we just I don't want to be around that many people but you know if that's kind of all we can do then I'll do it we've been there before and it's beautiful and I love it there um but it does get pretty darn crowded it's one of I was reading somewhere that it's one of the most visited national parks so yeah. If you guys, okay, so let me put this out there. If there is a, a vacation destination or just something interesting uh, in the 
Midwest-ish uh, area of the U.S. that you've seen or that you think, you know, would be of some interest to a 12-year-old girl, <laughs> um, let me know. She, she loves um, history. She loves flags, which I just think is hysterical. That's her, her like focus. She just knows every flag that you can think of. Like I, I, it's amazing to see her showcase that knowledge too. Cause she just one day, I don't even know how it started, but she was just like, Oh yeah, this is this such and such flag. And this is such and such flag. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I learned all about it in social studies. And then she just, it's just from there, it's just blossomed. So she has books on flags and she knows country flags. She knows state flags. She knows some city flags. She knows, it's just amazing. Um, but yeah, so she's very into, into history and, and uh, all the social studies kind of um, things. She does like science. She likes, she basically said, she's like, I like anything interesting. And I'm like, babe, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of, uh, ground to cover there. Kind of maybe need to narrow it down just a little bit more. Okay. Let me see. I am tempted to do these guys with like, just like white, but I want a little bit of color, I think. So maybe, maybe we'll do like a really light blue. Or like purple. I think I'll do the purple. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any um, recommendations, let me know. I, you know, we live in Indiana, so anything around Indiana would be interesting as well. We've kind of done a lot of what's available in Indiana itself, so. But, you know, open to things in like Illinois or Ohio or Michigan. We've done quite a bit of Michigan as well, too. But anything that you can think of would be greatly appreciated. Um, just, just a little adventure, you know, like a, a couple of day little trip. Um, she just said, I, I need to get out of Indiana. I said, okay, babe, I understand. <laughs> I get it. I did suggest going up to the beach somewhere in Michigan, and she was not a fan of that, which just kind of broke my heart a little bit. None of my kids are beach people, and I just, it's my happy place. Like, especially the the Michigan beaches, just because they're, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's a, it's a freshwater thing versus the saltwater, and I feel like there's not as many scary fish in there. I know there are some big giant fish but um I don't know I don't know what it is I just I really love um the beaches around the Great Lakes but it was probably because of you know growing up that was that was what I did I went to the beach all the time all the time So, so yeah, so, um, I will be having my, um, I will be recording my completed pages video here shortly. Uh, I do have to get that, uh, recorded still. So that, that will be out here very soon. Uh, I got a lot of pages done, uh, last month and I'm pretty, I mean, I'm not stoked about it, but it's, it's pretty cool that I got as many done as I did. I didn't think I was going to get very many done. Um, now, some of the ones that I did get done are, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to get, I don't, I don't even know. It's not that I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's early morning. Eric is not making sense today. So let's just, yeah. So just look out for that video. It'll be out soon. Um, <laughs> I am looking forward to the summer. I really am. We have a lot of graduation parties coming up. Several people in our family have 
graduated. We've got a nephew and a, um, well, she's technically my cousin, but she's like my niece. So, um, she's also graduated and I got to take her senior pictures, some of her senior pictures. She's just a beautiful, wonderful child and I can't wait to see what she does. So excited for her. Okay, let me grab some more markers. I'm going to grab some greens. Greens? Maybe I want to do these in blues. Like a dark blue. Let's test out some markers. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this I keep, so I have like a three drawer uh, thing with these clear plastic drawers. And this is what I keep all of my water-based markers in. Except for my Crayolas. My Crayolas are someplace else. But... Mostly, this has like my Tombos, my Zigs, and then any um, like Hobby Lobby or Michaels uh, markers that I have too. So like this one is one from Michaels. This is my, uh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. That's not dark enough. I might not have the right marker. Oh, I have a couple Crayola sitting up on my... <laughs> my desk I might be able to find use something from one of those all right so this is all the blues I have um hmm I thought I had some darker like some dark ones this one's pretty dark but I don't know if this is the right it's like a it's too almost too bright let me see what this one is I have this really dark yeah that's what I'm looking for um, I might use that. I don't know if that'll blend in too much to the background. All right, let me see what else I got. I might have some, uh, I might have some greens that'd be okay. Okay. So I get all kind of messed around too. I think I have, like this one's kind of a bluish green. That turquoise color might not be bad. What's this one look like? Yeah, that's similar to that. I don't think I want like a really yellowy green. Hmm. Well, maybe I do. These ones are way close, but I could do like the dark one and the light one maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna go with green. I, sometimes I feel like I can go through and do, you know, different colored things, you know, like make this, you know, the trees, I don't know, blue or the grass pink or, you know what I mean? Like I, I try to do that on, on occasion, but I really end up always going back to like these regular colors. Plants have green stems, you know, um, the sky is typically blue. I don't know. I feel like I need to try to branch out a little bit more. I always see people do these beautifully muted pages. Uh, Zucchini Kitty is really good about doing those. And I just, I love the way that it looks. I just never, ever think to reach for those colors. But I love her pages so much. They're just gorgeous. There are several places where I missed uh, adding in the background too. So I'll have to do that with some pencils. This makes the pages go so much faster, so much faster when I can use my markers. Because now I just have to come in with a little bit of pencil shading. And this page will be done. Which is lovely. All right, so this month, I still, you know what, I may literally just, I mean, it happens every year. May always flies by. It goes so fast. And I just kind of lost track of everything. So I don't even have like my planner 
<laughs> ready to go for the next month. I'm going to have to sit down and do that today, probably. Um, there's just so much that I am not, I'm just not ready for June yet. So this hard back thing that I decided just kind of a spur of the moment today when I was looking for something to color this morning, uh, I was like, oh, well, yeah, we're just going to focus on some hardback books. So it'll be like um, Hannah Carlson and um, Maria Trolley. And then like, I'm trying to think what other hardback ones. I have a couple of hardback books from RJ Hampson. Uh, I have some from Clara Markova. Uh, trying to think what else I have. I think is um what I'm gonna say is if I think I have one from uh April. I don't know if that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. But she's I love her her stuff too, so hopefully I can um get something done from her. Yeah, I just decided to focus on those those books this month. I'll still do you know, like my 50 Farmers Miniatures page and, um, you know, work in some of my books that I wanted to focus on this year, which that's been going pretty well. I've, I've gotten quite a bit done. Um, Daydreams is one that I really wanted to focus on, so I, I hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of those pages done this month. Um... I just, every time I open it and look at it, I have so many whips in there. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm just going to have to sit down and just like force myself to work on it. All right. I don't love these stems, but I think when I get some shading on them, they'll be all right. They're just very bright right now and I don't. I don't love that. So the shading I might do is going to, I think it's going to be just a little, I'm going to add a little bit more blue in there, kind of tone back the brightness of that. Okay. And then maybe we'll color, I'll just give like a little base color to the mice real quick. Yep, yep, yep. All right, tree three. I've got some different browns and grays. Um, that one would be pretty dark. A couple of lighter. Let's see, I've got this one. That's super light, and that's kind of a cool gray. Um, what are you? That's not bad, but again, that's kind of dark. I do like that one. I like the warmer tones a little bit more. So I think I'm going to do those two. Do I have another lighter warm gray? Oh, that's cold as well. Mm, I could do just like a brown. Do I want a brown mouse? No, I want gray mouses. Gray mices. Okay, let's get these guys some color really quick. We'll do, I'm gonna do the big one lighter. And since I'm using such a light marker color, I'll be able to add in some shading and, you know, if I wanna add some pink in the ears or around the nose or something, I can do that too, cause it'll, it'll show up over top of these markers. No problem. All right, so I'm thinking these stars, all these stars are going to be white, um, bright white, but I'm going to add, especially in this stars in the basket, I'm going to add a little bit of color to them, probably just some, a um, little bit of pink and a little bit of purple. Yeah, here's another spot where I didn't get the, the background done.
I love these Tombow markers in these books. I think maybe I'll do some, um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put some sparkle. I'm trying to not do any stickles, uh, only because if I want to color the other side of this page, um, it will, uh, definitely be um, harder to get like to color over top of the stickles that's the only downside to stickles I like to use them more on single-sided pages because then I don't have to worry about it as much but if I try to put stickles like on on the stars or on some of the flowers or something when I go to color the page on the opposite side I'm going to be coloring over top of the the bumps and everything and it's just not it's not fun all right, I think one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through on these uh, flowers and add a little bit darker pink. I'm going to use another zig brushable, and I'm just going to do the um, these little bits and pieces that are coming out from the center of the flower. It's kind of hard to tell where they are on this one. Okay, so, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I went and saw, um, my husband got free tickets again to go see a comedy show last night, so that's what we, we went out on a date, and that's why the video's a little bit late today, because otherwise it would have been out, um, you know, much earlier, uh, but we went to see Celeste Barber, and she is a an Australian comedian, she was so hilarious. I laughed so hard. Um, and I hadn't, I, I, I feel bad for saying this because it seems like she's a pretty, you know, popular comedian. I didn't know who she was. I, I was just like, he said, you want to go see the show? I was like, sure. I like comedians. And we went and I laughed so hard. She was so funny. So if you have not followed her on like Instagram or, you know, any of the social medias go out there and do that she's hysterical we had so much fun and I I spent, so my husband is not a big fan of getting drinks at like concerts or the movie theater or you know or anything like that he's like it's stupid to pay this much money for a drink and last night I was I looked at him with like these big puppy dog eyes and I'm like please I need I haven't had alcohol in so long and I just want a drink and and he's like, fine. And so we walked up and I ordered the most expensive drink on, on, the, on the menu. And it came in like this um, souvenir kind of cup thing that you can keep. And he was just like, he just like looked at me and shook his head. He's like, what are you doing? But it was delicious. It was so good. It was this mojito with like some kind of berry mojito thing. Ah. Oh so good and I hadn't had any alcohol in so long I immediately felt it like in my stomach I was like uh oh uh but thankfully I'd eaten not too earlier or not too you know long ago or long I don't know what I'm trying to say you know what I mean I had eaten earlier in the evening and it wasn't that long it wasn't it hadn't been that long so we uh were sitting there and I just looked at him like hmm I can kind of feel that alcohol kicking in. <laughs> he just started shaking his head. He's like, oh my gosh. He hasn't had to deal with Tipsy Erica for a while. But it was really fun. Okay, I'm going to work on these um, stems. All right, so I'm using Black Widow pencils. I haven't used these guys in a while either. And I think that I want to do, like, I want to take, like, this opal green, I think. Or maybe I should do like a blue. Well, I kind of like the saber and wizard combo. That one might be the winner. Let's try, try that. Okay, so I have the saber and saber and the wizard. So I have all of the Black Widow sets, and these are one of my. I haven't used these pencils in a while, but I do really love them. 
Okay, so I'm going to do, so we've got our light source here, right? So it's gonna be, all the shadows will be on the outside edge. There we go. All right, so we'll add some saber. And do a little bit of the wizard. And that just tones down that bright, bright, bright green. It was just, it's just too bright. I am going to try to work with the light source a little bit on this, on my shading and stuff too, since I've got that light source kind of right there. Um, so I'll be trying to keep that in mind as I'm, as I'm doing my shading here. Let's see what else is going on. I've been, um, again, any, most of my downtime was reading, although, you know, I did get a few coloring pages done. I have several whips that I was just I just couldn't finish and it makes me really grumpy because I like the way that they were going and I just didn't get them finished. So there's a couple of them where I'm just like, I could just finish them real quick and then it'd be fine. But um, yeah, I just, I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't get them finished. Okay. I like that. I probably come in too with like a white Posca or something like that and add even more highlights on the edge of the of the stem. All right, so so back to like vacations and stuff. Let me know if you guys have any plans. I would love to hear what what people are planning this this summer um, or you know winter for anybody <laughs> on the southern hemisphere of the planet. It always just, it makes my, it, it just, I don't know. I always forget that not everybody is in the same season. So like our friends, all, all of our friends down in, you know, like Australia and New Zealand and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, you guys are, it's probably a little colder. I mean, it's, I don't know how cold it gets there. I'm so, I, I feel bad, um, but I am, I'm really, like, I, th I think I talked about this a little bit last, last week. I'm really ignorant about other countries. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what the climate is like. I don't know. You know, because when I think of Australia, I think of either, like, the outback, you know, like, hot, barren land or you know, giant waves. That's, <laughs> you know, surfers and, and the opera, the opera house. That's what I, that's what I picture when I think of Australia. And I know there's so much more. Um, yeah, there's a couple of countries where I just, I just, I have no ideas. Um, now I've been to New Zealand, so I have a little bit more of an idea what it's like there. Um, and it was amazing. Like, I was in awe every time we turned a corner on a road. I'm just like, oh my gosh. This place is amazing. I didn't want to leave. Um, but yeah. Oh, I got a little bit back here. I feel like that toned it down quite a bit. All right, let's work on the leaves. So again, I'm not gonna go super bright 
All right, we're gonna try turquoise and pine and see, see if that's a good combo. I'm trying to decide how I wanna do the leaves too, because these are different kind of leaves than what she normally draws. Huh. I think I'll just take each section and have like a highlighted area maybe. So we'll do that area a little darker and then it'll get lighter. Look like it's kind of like the part of the leaf is kind of curving towards me, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this, the center of the leaf though. Hmm. Interesting. I might need a little bit darker, so I might bring that saber back in, actually. This is a good shadow color for greens. And just kind of darken up. Uh, and then this side of the stem would be darker. So we'll do that. And then I'll add some of the darker areas where the stem gets a little narrower. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll work. All right, so. I'm trying to think what else is going on. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of open houses coming up for graduation parties and stuff. So I know that we're going to be busy doing that the next several weekends. I'm gonna to try to make some graduation cards and see how that goes. I haven't made a card in a long time, so I'm not sure. Sometimes I feel like my, my skills, my card making skills just get rusty. And then I start making cards again. And I'm like, oh, I'm, <laughs> I really like this. And then I just stop and then I start the process all over again. I'm like, mm. yeah. Okay, that's that's fine. It is what it is. I feel like it kind of goes with these other ones too, so maybe it's not terrible. I don't know, I, I really like leaves when I can just do my, my quick thing. So like, for example, if a leaf is drawn like this, I like to do leaves that are drawn like that because then I can do a little bit of shading on this side and a little bit of shading like right along the stem and then leave like the high, the lighter areas right here and it just looks nice. But that's not how these are drawn. So now I have to figure out where I'm supposed to put my shading and my I just want it to be straightforward. Just give me a, a leaf, a normal leaf. <laughs> and I don't think that's gonna work for these books. She does draw her leaves in interesting ways though, doesn't she? Like they're always something special. All right, I might grab my, let's see, I'll grab the washed green and see if I can tone things down just a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Saber had some shadow in there, so that'll be really dark. Okay, this is going well. It'll be a nice relaxing page, especially once I start on all of the flowers and stuff, and I think it's gonna be cute when it's done. Yep, okay, I think that's it for me today. Uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for my completed pages video coming very soon. 
and also like a, um, I don't know that I'm going to do a plans page this month, but definitely be on the lookout for that Amazon video as well. That should be coming out very, very shortly. So yeah, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.